Hey everybody, it's me. I've had kind of a long day, but I'm heading home and I'm gonna bring you with me in this little mini vlog. I've reset the trip counter so you can see how far away my home is. One of the advantages of leaving late, there is no traffic. Traffic. Waiting at the stoplight. There's road construction everywhere around here in Orlando. Almost getting into the highway now. More construction. Big turn now, then we get on I-4. Look, Ma, traffic. Here we go. This is the first bit of actual traffic. And it's because, I think, there's a hill up ahead. And so people can't see over the hill, so they slow down, causing traffic. But as soon as you get over the hill, the traffic goes back to normal. I don't understand it. See, we're coming down the hill, and then just over the horizon, there's another little hill, and that's the slowdown. I promise, as soon as we get over that other hill, you'll see, the traffic's gonna start moving. We are almost up to full speed now. Just a little further, and we're gonna be cooking with Crisco. Well, we picked up a little bit of speed. Not quite full speed, but we're getting there. Better than the other side. Wow, look at those poor schlubs. I don't know if you noticed, but I'm in a new car. I think the last time you saw me, I was in my Toyota Prius. But now, I'm driving a Toyota RAV4. Look, there's the new water park, Volcano Bay. If you look very carefully, you might see people waiting three hours for a water slide. That's a little unfair. That's just what I read. I haven't been there myself yet. And at the almost 10 mile mark, we're going by Universal. One of the fancy features of my new car is that it has this smart cruise control in which I set it and using radar, it detects the car in front of me and how fast it's going and it regulates the speed to make sure that I don't rear end them. So if I set a speed that is faster than the vehicle in front of me is moving at, the car will slow down by itself because it's using their radar. And when the vehicle in front of me moves away, presto, it picks up speed again and it gets moving back to the speed limit that I set it at. That big flag, that's where I bought this car. Right about now, we are at about the halfway mark. The halfway mark is not particularly picturesque. In fact, it's right by a prison. You know what I love? I love people that cut me off. They jump right in front of my car and then they slow down. Look, road construction. Getting into downtown. Now when I was younger, I used to sing everywhere. And I don't know if it's because I was more confident back then or what, but I don't do that anymore. I pretty much exclusively sing in my car. My car, it's like my music studio. And what do I normally sing? <laughs> Show tunes, of course. Now what's my favorite musical of all time? That one's tough. I guess it depends on my mood, mostly. I guess the other part of that question would be, which is my favorite musical that I have seen versus which is my favorite musical that I have heard? We've got our two criteria. Musicals that I've seen, by far my favorite has to be Tarzan. That staging and the presentation was amazing. It's not a perfect show. In fact, it has a deeply flawed second act because mostly it doesn't really have a villain. But, man. That staging, beautiful. Now for my favorite musical that I have not seen, but I've of course listened to, that one's harder. I guess any self-respecting musical theater loving person would say that probably Hamilton is my favorite I've not seen musical, because I'm not rich and don't have $4,000 to spend on two tickets. But there are a lot of other musicals that I haven't seen. Oh wait, hold on, I take it all back. I did see Beauty and the Beast on Broadway before it opened, and that one, that's my favorite. I mean, how could I have forgotten? 
Beauty and the Beast. It was my first Broadway experience ever. I got to see the original cast. Terrence Mann, man. Terrence Mann. He was amazing as the Beast, too. Man, I'm... it's been a while. Okay, now that we've established that, yes, Beauty and the Beast. By far, it's my favorite musical that I've ever seen. It, it's amazing. Now, a quick little public service announcement. The Beauty and the Beast tour that's kind of going around the United States right now, not really Disney's Beauty and the Beast. That tour ended a long time ago. The tour that you're seeing now is uh, a little other company that couldn't even afford to buy the rights to the staging and blocking, so they came up with their own. So not the real Beauty and the Beast. Not to say that it can't be okay, but it's pretty much like watching your local community theater do it, maybe with a slightly bigger budget. Definitely not worth paying the big Broadway on the road ticket prices for that show. So back to the musical that I should say, which of course anybody would be screaming at me if I didn't say Hamilton. Uh, and I do, I like Hamilton a lot, but there are a lot of other really good musicals. If I have to really focus on a just purely musical basis, Chess has got some pretty decent music. It's very dated, don't get me wrong. You very much hear the time in which it was written, but it's got some pretty neat stuff in there. All right, we're at the 25 mile mark. And we are almost there. More construction. Getting off the highway. Here we are. Well, thanks for coming along with me on this little mini vlog. If you have a favorite musical, why don't you write it down in the comments and let me know. And also, share your thoughts on road construction. Thanks for watching. Hey, consider hitting the subscribe button and following this craziness on a more regular basis. Look at that, 28 miles. Bye.